Internal emails obtained by KTVU through a public records request show just how much tensions had risen days and weeks earlier. In a message written October 13th, a sergeant said he'd been confronted by protesters camping at Frank Ogawa Plaza and that one implied they would remove officers by force if they entered the camp without permission. Five days later, Deputy Chief Jeffrey Israel told Chief Howard Jordan, we can either wait for a riot or order them to cease their nighttime occupation. Soon after these images began making national and international news, a Washington, D.C. crisis manager recommended Oakland apologize, but the mayor's team disagreed and recrafted the message instead. At almost the same time, Chief Jordan received this email from the mother of an Oakland officer detailing how her daughter was bombarded with bottles of feces and urine during a confrontation with protesters. In the days leading up to this November 2nd march on the Port of Oakland, city leaders warned about the drain on police resources. Yet when Chief Jordan received an update that crime was actually down 19% in the last week of October, he wrote this email to one of Mayor Kwan's advisors. Not sure how you want to share this good news. It may be counter to our statement that the Occupy movement is negatively impacting crime in Oakland. Eric Rasmussen, KTVU Channel 2 News.